rubberized. Uh, yeah, like they printed this lateral sole. Uh, wow. Pretty. And then they got the. It's like a. Look like at <laughs> how it is. Yeah, like right out of a mold. I broke it, but this was their <laughs> little, um, yeah. you know, thing that sh shows the shore factors going from hard, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think it's ABS, all the way out to this you know, really flexible stuff. Yeah, he was talking about how he printed a, like, an, like an S4 Audi car, yeah. and the tires were rubber, hubcaps, you know, were hard, yeah. so the whole print oh, job. Yeah, they wouldn't give me one like that. They have no. a really cool one, and I'm like, hey, can I take that as a sample? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so they gave me this, a stick ship. Maybe I'll <laughs> this is actually a game. But anyway, you can see the river in there. Um, and, uh, and then I, I, if I had had my wife's help, we might have had like a nicer spread. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got some sodas and water in here. Um, I went into Costco and just grabbed my stuff and ran out. So, um, but I think it's the company. So I'm really glad you guys are here. And, and then if you're open to it, you're doing something, and I can video it or yeah, shoot some photos. Yeah, that'd be great. So, hard. so why don't we go around? <laughs> you know, uh, Doug started this place, right? Yeah, yeah. Me and a uh, great guy. So we got excited to meet at Makerspace downtown Orlando. We've got Family Lab, which has been great, you know, support and guidance for us. We really want something kind of what's going on with Orlando. It's a huge tech boom going on here. So we hit the ground running, bought a bunch of great tools, not just 3D printing, but we have uh, wood router CNC's, we have laser cutters, welding. So back in the warehouse, if you get a chance before you leave, feel free to walk back there and wander around yeah, we love, and see what we got going on. Tour, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm at Bugs and I'm at Bugs and I'm We were just walking out of the hideaway one night and uh, we actually, he was actually sitting next to us and I don't know what, I think you were the one actually went in and grabbed him and said, hey, talk to my boyfriend. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, yeah, lot of it's a great people. community here. Yeah, yeah um, I've been doing 3D for the last 15 years. I've been working, I've worked in 3D Studio, uh, at least four for about a week, and then I went right into Max as soon as that came off. And uh, I moved to Orlando in 98, and I've been doing, uh, well, I did video games for about 10 years, and before that I was doing some simulation for about six, and now I'm back in simulation, uh, working at Cubic. Uh, it's a big military contract, and uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it, but uh, now I'm on the side, I got, uh, this, which is uh, two, it's actually two projects. One is um, I'm learning how to uh, cast in slip and clay, and I would like to actually be able to print in clay and then just fire it right out of there. But until that time, yeah. um, I'm going to be working on the old fashioned slip casting, which is you take the investment and it, you basically put it in around, uh, you, you basically pour a two part or three part mold out of plaster. With and uh, so that, these are actually Adventure Brothers characters. Uh, I'm hoping to do a Patreon account and get some, get some of the fans to help donate my R&D for slip casting. So that brings me to this, which is um, in Japan, uh, about 10 years ago, this uh, thing started up where, I mean, they, they, they have a real doll culture in Japan. And um, you got that. Yeah, and, and in Germany, actually, about 300 years ago, they created these ball jointed dolls. Um, and they were pretty articulated, but now like, we've got uh, stuff coming out of Japan is like 24 points of articulation and upwards of that. So they've got really highly articulated uh, models. And a lot of the things are created with very lifelike uh, face ups, is what they call them. Uh, face ups are basically where uh, the person who owns the doll will actually like put a lot of detail into like the quality of the makeup of the face. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is basically uh, do them on my own. I'm, I built that all myself in uh, ZBrush actually. Although originally I made the model in 3D in 3D Studio years ago. And it's like just repurposed it and I sliced it up and I'm actually learning like things like this joint's too big. Um, but anyway, all this was printed out on my Macrobot and uh, I actually, uh, I did this vapor, this is vaporized, so if you ever want to see what vaporization looks like, um, so this is vaporized and this is not. Um, they're the same uh, thickness. Yeah, you can pass that around. Um, actually, these are vaporized too. Um, I, I basically have a, uh, a, a rice cooker 
and uh, it's an old rice. It never made rice really well, so <laughs> I, uh, I I donned a you know I, I basically look like I'm cooking crystal meth or something. <laughs> uh, I, I basically put on some protective equipment and I throw a tiny little cap hole in there at you know full heat mm -hmm. and throw it in for about 15 seconds and I will actually walk away because the vapors go right through the mask, so it's like I'm not even wearing one. But yeah, so I'm like I'm very very like you know. I don't want to get any kind of damage, so I basically put it in for 15 seconds and then take it right out, and it basically just zaps it with a beautiful. It like takes all of the, uh, almost all of it away. I mean, you can still see it. But this, I think, the head was actually uh, two uh, two millimeter. Um, this might be one. I tried it before. I'm trying to. Yeah, this is one millimeter. This, this is not polished. Actually, the back side is polished and the front side isn't. You don't have to move the Yeah, you can try it. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, it's going much further than that. We don't want you to make it automated. And we're going to be automaton. So I'm bringing the porcelain that I'm going to wear there and make porcelain automatons. Yeah, that's what we're So that's that's where I want to go. Yeah. And I, I think I could probably sell those for like 25K a pop. Because collectors of ball jointed dolls will pay $25,000 for this ball jointed doll. Moving uh, ball jointed doll. I don't know. But, wow, so, man. Yeah, that's wild. That's awesome. That's what I'm wearing. Is that like too? Um, I think it's Brittany. Uh, I don't do any Brittany modeling or 3D printing. But him with ideas and she then translates into 3D models so that I can make fun things with them like yeah. necklaces and the deer antlers. Oh yeah, the deer antlers. Sweet. So. Yeah, she's, she's definitely giving me lots of ideas. And 3D muse. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's 3D <laughs> muse. <laughs> All right. My name is Dan Swanson from Clearwater. I've been a freelance technical illustrator since 87 when Adobe Illustrator first came out. Oh, wow. the, I was in the Chicago area been making my living, raising a family, um, and in the 90s I first got interested in 3D, and uh, I've had uh, the Strata product, and Form Z, and most recently uh, the Foundry Moto. I've had that for about four years, and now they're in version 8. Uh, started in version 3, and uh, in version 8, uh, or in 7 and 8, uh, they introduced uh, an add-on called Mesh Fusion. And this is my first shape waste product. It's a stain their stainless steel material. Press it around if you want. Stainless, stainless steel with 40% bronze infused. And uh, that was made with mesh fusion, where mesh fusion is basically you take a quad me quad meshes and it do, it make, it lets you do Boolean operations that's subtracting, uh, intersecting, etc. with with quad based meshes. So the ring is basically a, like a, a blob, and I took a um, like a, a spool shape, kind of like a, a butterfly yo-yo, uh, for the inside, and then uh, I made a quad uh, five-point star extrusion, and I subtracted that out uh, from the ring, and then uh, Mesh Fusion makes um, a beautiful watertight quad mesh. And you just save it in whatever format, and uh, uh, Shapeways took it with no no corrections or anything. Oh. Wow! And that that particular ring for stainless it cost about twenty two bucks. And uh, wow, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Is it hollow or did you? No, it's solid. Oh, it's solid. It's solid. solid. And uh, the, it's an interesting. You can see um, if you look on YouTube and you look up uh, Shapeways. You can find uh, a video that that shows how the stainless process works. Oh. It's a stainless steel powder yeah. that's mixed with glue okay. that comes out of the, the printer, oh. and you can oh. see the striations yeah. in the, the layers. Uh, actually, and then, actually, in shapeways, they don't use that. They, they no, use no. Uh, the uh, casting method. No, no this is oh. different. I, I, I'm telling you, this I saw the video. Ago. The stainless is different. Yeah, yeah um, it was also a while ago. Too. It's powder mixed. Oh, 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 did they change it? I might have changed it. Well, that's yeah. not. Uh, anyway, it depends on who yeah. they have outsourced. They, they have been perhaps. working through different ways they're going to do it, and I, I don't know. Um, but I know that they've been going through different iterations of printers. So probably it, that, that might have been printed on that printer, but like the new ones is that's, uh, that's using, awesome. But yeah, that's however they did it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I also I have the fact a, that it's printed. 
I have a, uh, this is the same model printed in uh, strong and flexible called the plastic. Oh, okay. Now you got to test it before then. That's awesome. Sorry, guys. I'm so how, much, right how much was this on the front? That one's, uh, I don't know, seven or eight bucks, something like that. Okay. Or maybe less. Um, now, the progression of materials goes all the way through platinum. And platinum costs three grand for this same ring. Three grand? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not bad. But the, well, if somebody really the 14, ring, they want it in platinum. 14 karat um, uh, yellow, rose, and white gold uh, are about 1,200. And But you can also, on the low end, you could take that stainless and have it plated with 24 karat gold. And that's a lot cheaper. <laughs> or you could have it printed or uh, cast in brass and have that gold plated. But anyway, um, I'm real excited about it. I'm going to do more um, designs based on this basic format. Um, and I'm also looking at uh, multi material items. I'm thinking about making a, like a, a hot plate that you can put, like a, it's like for putting a serving dish on on a, on a table. You can make the, the frame out of stainless and then have a, a ceramic uh, insert. Because uh, Shapeways can print, print ceramic as well. Let me just take a photo with you with the two of them. Sure. And then, uh, 